On September 15th, Nike created a revolutionary new basketball shoe. On October 18th, the NBA threw them out of the game. Fortunately, the NBA can't stop you from wearing them. Air Jordans from Nike. Today is October 18, 2012. I figured it'd be right to do this review on the uh, Jordan Band 1 High or the Jordan Virtual 1 High Band, uh, which is just retail 125. Released back in the outlets last year. As you can see on the box, it uh, says Imagine If. Black, red, and white colorway. Uh, again, on this side, imagine if the uh, X lo logo or uh, band marking. Let's get inside, inside of the box. At the top here, you have Retro Wings logo. And on top of this, the imagine if. This sneaker is very important to me because uh, it's my favorite Jordan model. Hands down, if it weren't for these, it wouldn't be any other Jordans. Let's get into a, a detailed look at them. At them. From close up, you can see the leather is much different from the uh, DMP pack retro ones or any other ones in comparison. From the back, you can see the uh, two X's that would be normally where the Jumpman logo would be, or on the uh, original pairs, it would be no Jumpman, just red. On the lace tips, you can see uh, it says if here, Let's, uh, focus on it, if here, and on the other one it says imagine if, imagine. Branded on these is the Nike Air logo. <laughs> uh, something Jordan Brand hasn't done in a while. And inside you can see a few X markings and the date 101885. Uh, front look at them. And now I'm going to show you uh, the insoles, which I took out on September 15th, 1985. Nike created a revolutionary new basketball shoe. On October 18th, 1985, they were thrown out of the game. <laughs> Most of you all know the story. In the back, I have... Uh, one of my vintage Jordan posters, perfect from the uh, 1985 Slam Dunk Contest. As you can see, the pro shot model is here with them. 